Happy birthday, Raymond Levy. Happy birthday to you. Today is Raymond Levy's 120th birthday. Just in time, I restored this iconic grandmother clock radio that he created in 1931 at the age of 38. It is the Canadian version model 801, a combination of an 8-tube radio and a New Haven Westinghouse electric clock with automatic control. This clock is very unique, featuring a second hand that moves in one second steps and even makes acoustic ticks like a mechanical clock. The second unique feature is a mechanical timer that is started when power is lost, interrupted when power is restored to let the clock resume where it stopped, and timing out after a preselected interval of a few minutes, after which the clock would not start again when power is coming back. So if you see your clock working, you know that it is accurate to within the interval you had preselected. The clock works perfectly after servicing, which is extremely rare. Let's watch it. It grows very fast. I mean, it's three months and they have it. Yeah. Okay, now. Same as potatoes. Mm, I've never grown potatoes as a okay. kid. What we do is um, you cut, take half a potato and you put it in water until it sprouts. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm so excited. Tell me when you want to yep. play no. See, and then I think once I became 10 mm -hmm. years old, it's like, ugh. Oh, Farming, that's not for mm -hmm. me. Mm-hmm. Dirty one. Oh, absolutely. Mm -hmm. okay. okay, so you can disconnect it. It's definitely not an elegant thing to eat. Mm -hmm. Okay. And once but more. It is sexy. Really? Mm-hmm. Perfecto. So, shall we try to time it out? Then we have to disconnect it again. Yep. I can cut the movie later. Okay, so let's just wait it. We can time it. I can't cut it off. Mm -hmm. Take it out of the video. No, just leave it. Now we leave it. Just uh, have it run out. And I cut all the additional time. Thank now it's uh, stopping soon, and then you demonstrate oh, very nicely um, Not quite. to connect it and see that it doesn't Not do anything. Quite. Now, you yeah, just come into the picture a little more. Yeah. Okay. Great. And, and it doesn't do nothing. Yeah. Good. QED. And here is the radio. An 8-tube early superhead with powerful push-pull audio based on a pair of 45 triodes and an 8-inch field coil speaker like in several General Electric and RCA radios of this vintage. The chassis is considerably smaller and lighter than that of its US counterpart, model WR-8. The radio works perfectly, but AM reception here in Chilliwack in Canada is lousy, so please listen to my cell phone connected through a regular RCA jack and watch the automatic clock working in situ.